just gotta do it. Gotta finish this album. Yeah. Check. Check one, two, one more. Okay, you ready? Yeah. What are you hearing? That'll rock. Okay, okay. okay. Oh, it should be lower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Okay, okay. This is where the magic happens. This album is a lot more relaxed atmosphere recording it. I think mainly because a lot of the material is from us. So here we are in Nashville, yeah. Nashville, Tennessee at the Sound Kitchen, Vegas. famous studios in Nashville. Recorded we recorded here. Last Flight out here. A lot of history here. Yeah. Have you been to the studio yet? Let's go. All right. Let's do it. I think Jeremy is recording the song we're doing right now, uh, calling down Let's go check it out. Have to be really quiet. Quiet. All studio right. etiquette. Mm -hmm. The fact that we all write is really cool because I feel like this album is going to really voice more of what, what is in our heart and what we're about. The song I'm working on now is called um, called Chaos. The only thing is this keyboard's so small, sometimes I run out of keys, so. Tear you cry, yeah, Tear you cry, yeah, I can't hit it. Yeah, dude. Okay. It rocks. Come on in and, and I'll have Nate put down. Here I am at the table, the, the big recording <laughs> desk with uh, Bernie Herms, our producer for Calling Down an Angel. And this dude wrote on the song. Yes, he co-wrote yeah. the song to Bernie. I overseed it. <laughs> overseed it? Oversaw it. Saw it. <laughs> he pulled a George <laughs> yeah. W there. This was like... <laughs> Well, cool. All right. You want to throw it down? Yeah, on my turn. You'll make it through. Cause there's a heaven being that's watching over you. Last line rock. Last line was cool. If you just away. I think I got it. Cool, man. Let's let's try one. So keep believing the sun always promises a new day. Gonna stop the rain, break the chain, and chase the pain away. Man, I like your energy uh, on the last line. That's cool. Cool. That we all had a whole lot more input and a lot more say stylistically, musically, on um, which direction we wanted to go. And because it was us writing the songs, the last record was basically we were given, you know, a big pool of songs and were able to choose from those songs which ones we wanted to go on the record. And so this record was um, coming from us, coming from inside of our hearts and our heads of what we wanted to be. That was the, I think, the most fun about this record. Reaching up to heaven knowing you will someday see finish this song we're off to New York and um, we got busy schedule photo shoots we, photo shoots. we got more songs to record I hope this photo shoot turns out okay <laughs> <laughs> With everything that has, had happened recently in New York, I didn't really know what to expect flying in the first time after September 11th. I think it's easy to watch TV and for it to seem kind of distant, but really, being there, you can tell that people are, are resolved. It's one of my favorite places. I'm glad that we got to actually record in Manhattan. That was a fun experience. So we're going to Nickelodeon, right? Yeah. I heard they're going to take us through a double dare course, too. It'd be awesome. <laughs> the funeral. Can that go to shut down? We got funerals going on. Oh. Funerals. Why is it still funeral? 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 Why is it still
Okay. <laughs> this next album's gonna be really cool. But in the beginning, it wasn't like we were like, we're gonna write all the songs on this album. It was like, hey, we're gonna try to pick the best songs. Are we gonna put if they come from us, that's cool. Yeah. If they come from you know, whoever, that's cool too. But it's cool if they come from us, that's okay. cool too. Yeah. So, yeah. anyway, we happen to end up writing well, like nine of them, and uh, the other two are oh, yeah, yeah. ballads. It's one called You, and then uh, we have another one called... Let Me Be The One. Oh, Let Me Be The One. Let be be the in one your life. Lead you through the night. Lead you through the night. Sharing the smiles and tears that you cry. That's the lyric. <laughs> Let me be the one loving you when you're weak for all the strength that you need. Lord, Amen. You come to me, Lord. That's what it starts That's with the lyric. Let me be the one leading you through the night sharing the smile My life in the past two years has changed. It's changed because there's no routine. I'm thinking of life differently, you know? Yeah. Here we go, Nickelodeon. Wow. That is pretty sweet. New York is so big. I mean, this is not even half of New York. Though. You know what I'm saying? Every week's different. Um, it's been seven days, it feels like, for about mm, probably the past month or two. Um, there hasn't been many days off just because of the time crunch for the album and also doing concerts. We're ready to go. They're gonna play our video. I'm gonna make one. <laughs> so when they put the food in our schedule, see that's what happens. They schedule these long days and then we don't get to eat. I'm starving right now, so hopefully we'll get some food. We'll probably get McDonald's and have to eat it in the car on the way somewhere, but that's all right. There she is, Britney Spears. The one, the only, don't look. Middle of town square, what, what? <laughs> Atlantic. It's the biggest record label in the world. Whenever I'm feeling down, feeling insecure. Hey. Hey. Hello. Hey. Hello. What's up, man? You guys are early, but that's cool. Hello. Yeah. Everything's cool? Yeah, yeah cool. thanks. Thank you. I'll be in a few minutes. You know, one thing for me that's been cool about this record is um, you know, being more R&B oriented and kind of influenced that way. And because the record has been more aggro, kind of guitar oriented, it's forced me to to sing a little bit of a different style than I would normally sing if I had, you know, my choice. I think, yeah, you'll hear a lot of different um, vocal techniques on this yeah, album yeah, compared to cool. the first album. It's a lot more aggressive. Everyone has their moments in the songs where we, it's not like oh, there's one voice that sings the whole thing. Every guy sings. Yeah. Pretty much the two most opposite musical people are sitting next to each other. Jason, <laughs> Jay, like, Jason's very more R&B oriented. Is that okay to say that? Sure. Mm -hmm. And he's more rock, so it's cool when it comes together. It's weird. I mean, I've grown up like listening to like classical music and stuff like that. I really like strings, and um, but I love rock too. Jeremy's funny because he'll, he'll be listening to like Harry Connick Jr. or something, yeah. and then five minutes later he'll be listening to completely something else. Yeah, yeah. he just he likes a lot of music. Yeah, 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 yeah. We came over here and they're like, they're like, what CDs do you think? We're like, oh, so it's new Stone Double Pilot. That's cool. And she goes, well, you want the new Tiara Crystals? Like, probably Nate probably no. wants that. Hey, like, no. <laughs> Christmas. I'm a TRL fan. I love Jules now. Is it the new one? Oh, thank you very much. It's all good. Right now we are leaving Atlantic.